Sergeant. Yep. Make sure you get a single one of Tala. During the fall of 2010, members of the Rhode Island State Police Intelligence Unit initiated an investigation of an organized criminal gambling operation allegedly being conducted by Vincent Tallow, age 49, of Johnston, Rhode Island. In November of 2010, approval for a court-authorized wire intercept was obtained, allowing members of the state police to intercept communications over Tallow's cell cellular telephone. Detectives documented nearly 400,000 in bookmaking activities. Detectives believe that Tallow was conducting an organized criminal gambling operation. In addition, the investigation disclosed that Tallow was allegedly illegally purchasing and selling prescription narcotics from his residence. As the investigation progressed, various accomplices involved in Tallow's alleged criminal operation were identified, including made members of the New England organized crime family. Three of these individuals were identified as Ed Edward Lato, age 65, Bobo Frank Bobo Marapisi, age 68, and Alfred Chippy Scavola, age 69, were all long-standing members of the Patriarchal Crime family. Okay, and Mr. Marapisi, your address, Early this morning, members of the state police, for the assistance of the Warwick, Cranston, Providence, Johnston, North Providence, Pawtucket, Gloucester, and Smithfield Police Departments executed arrest and search warrants related to this investigation. The individuals listed on the press release handed out at the start of the press conference were subsequently arrested and charged. I think what today proves is that organized crime and corruption in the state of Rhode Island never sleeps. The good news is law enforcement in the state of Rhode Island never sleeps. And thankfully today, we have brought to conclusion the investigatory phase against organized crime and corruption in the state of Rhode Island.